In 1991, Massachusetts joined a handful of other states in uh, completely reforming and reorganizing its uh, education system pre-K through 12. And uh, one of the centerpieces of that was standardized testing. Not a very popular idea with some, very popular with others. It still remains controversial uh, these 20 years later. But uh, it's very much a part of our current system. And uh, one of the reasons that people pushed to get standardized testing was because they wanted to ensure that, uh, that young people, as they leave uh, schools, uh, were able to, at minimum, do the basics and uh, hopefully to do a lot more than that. Because what was happening was the employers were finding that people were coming in and uh, they didn't even uh, have the basic skills to be able to uh, perform effectively in their jobs. And so the business community rallied to push for ed reform, and part of it was to develop uh, standardized uh, frameworks uh, and then ask the school districts to come up with their own curricula and to come up with um, their own uh, teaching methods, and, but then to have a set of standardized tests to measure that the students had, in fact, mastered the subject matter. Well, uh, again, as I say, it's very controversial, but um, it is still in place, and the federal government has actually joined in this through their No Child Left Behind. They've also called for uh, national standardized tests. Uh, but one of the things that has now occurred is 20 years later, the same business community that was pushing to get standardized tests is now saying the students are coming out so much better prepared and they're doing really well in the basics but now what we're worried about is they're not demonstrating the capacity to be creative and innovative to work together in teams uh, to be able to identify new ways about thinking about old problems and old uh, issues and as a result they're asking now the education community to figure out how to uh, get creativity back into the discussion and back into the classroom and back into the outcomes and result of, of a uh, good public education. This opened the opportunity for us to start a conversation and that conversation is now going to be taking place at the state level through a piece of legislation that I filed and was uh, able to get passed into law through the last economic development bill, setting up a creative challenge index. And the objective is to have a commission, a very representative, uh, broadly uh, constituted commission of educators and non-educators alike, come together and identify the elements of creativity and innovation that can be taught and the types of experiences that uh, students are having in our public schools here in Massachusetts and beyond and uh, to identify opportunities and to catalog them and then to communicate across the Commonwealth to all school systems how they measure up on an index of uh, creative uh, opportunities for their students. And it doesn't only take place in the arts. Uh, creativity and innovation can come through uh, studying science and math, as would be reflected in science fairs, uh, by uh, participation in debate clubs, uh, which would um, uh, clearly be influenced by study of uh, social science and, uh, and history and culture. and and uh, uh, and it can also, of course, uh, come to us through the arts as students participate in ensembles and in classes on music, art, poetry, dance, uh, uh, and, and wide range of other experiences that they can have. So the idea behind this is not to create a new test. It's not to create a, a new standard that you, uh, or a new mandate that you must meet or you must do. The idea is to collect the best experience around the Commonwealth and beyond in uh, providing opportunity for young people to experience things that will help them develop their creative side so that they will be able to work individually and in groups to uh, identify uh, creative solutions to problems and engage in creative thinking 
analysis, critical thinking, and action. And so we're hoping that over the next uh, four or five years, we can start to see uh, an injection into our public education system and our public schools, increased discussion on an increased action and activity, providing opportunities for children from the earliest grades all the way through high school to be able to have experiences and, uh, and come out with the, the uh, skills and the interest in becoming involved in and uh, being involved in, in activities uh, of creativity and innovation.